One of the hardest things about the bad old lockdown times was seeing our buildings empty. Places that were usually buzzing with activity of all sorts were all of a sudden strangely quiet. And people who were used to being gathered together for all sorts of occasions were all of a sudden were scattered together and our community was well and truly broken. Even as we gradually and carefully tried to reopen, we discovered that it was hard work and slow work, a bit like untying a big knot of some kind. But we felt it was important to give people opportunities to be together and to rebuild our community. And thanks to the Community Foundation in Northern Ireland, who kindly gave us a grant, we were able to do some really good things. We spent some of the money on food and food vouchers. We packed bags with items that we thought would be really useful to give away to people who might appreciate a little helping hand with Christmas approaching. Indeed, we called our whole project Helping Hands. Our first get together was at a local garden centre. We met for coffee and scones and for many people it was the first time in a long time that they'd actually been together. It was safe and it was mostly outdoors and we took home things that we could plant in pots to brighten up our homes and our gardens. Over lockdowns, many people noticed a change in their health, mentally and physically. So in our project, we tried to address some of those things. We invited a chiropodist to give advice on foot health. We called in a dietitian to give pointers on watching how and what we eat. And we asked a physio to come and give advice on keeping our mobility as good as it could be. It's now well noted that COVID had a huge negative impact on our mental health, so we tried to help there too, with sessions from a cognitive behavioural therapist and a life coach. As an area of general interest, we invited a rep from the Air Ambulance to come and tell us a bit about what they did. And people were really, really supportive, and actually on that morning gave really generously to help support our ambulance. In the new year, we treated ourselves with some food and some music that brightened up our spirits as we entered into 2023, feeling a little bit more positive and indeed hopeful for the future. We want to say thank you to all who worked locally to make our project happen, but to give special thanks to the Community Foundation for all their help. We quite literally could not have done this without you. Thank you.